Hello, Morisana. I'm John Ulrich. And I'm Willem Casano. And, and this, this is Colonial Corner, Corner News. Last week, everyone was looking up at the sky to see the eclipse. The school provided students with special eclipse viewing glasses. Students and faculty gathered outside the field house to get a look. The MHS Science Department set up a telescope to give students an even closer look at this astronomical event. The next eclipse in our area won't happen until 2044. If you still have your eclipse glasses, please return them to room 419. The glasses will be shipped to students in South America so they will be able to view the eclipse that will be visible there in August. WJSV and Corner Corner are preparing for their annual marathon event. From April 19th after school until midday on April 20th, the WJSV DJs will be on air live throughout the day and night. MHS broadcasting students will also write, shoot, and edit a special marathon edition of Colonial Corner that will be posted on our YouTube channel on Saturday afternoon. You can listen to all of their marathon radio broadcasts on the WJSV stream player link, which is posted on Canvas, and on the WJSV website. Colonial Crowd will take place April 17th at 6 p.m. in the MHS Auditorium. The event will feature seven seniors who will participate in a variety of events, including lip sync, Q&A with formal wear, and a talent competition. The Colonial Crown contestants are Dylan Walker, Jessica Jabor, Allie Miller, Mimi Petro, Taylor Donnelly with Kylie Pfeffer, Nelson Santiago, and Jack Jacobs. Be sure to come out and support your favorite senior and see who will get to wear the Colonial Crown for 2024. Congratulations to the MHS Theater cast and crew who have recently received nominations for the Montclair Theater Night Foxy Awards for both Cinderella and The Tempest. Cinderella was nominated for eight awards and The Tempest was nominated for 15 awards. Colonial Corner News Technical Director Elon Onigman was nominated for new media and special effects for his video segments that were incorporated into The Tempest set. The Foxy Awards will be presented on May 20th. Mary Poppins has also been submitted for Bergen Pack and Paper Mill Rising Star nominations. We spoke with Mr. Levine and Ms. Rubin about the plays and the nominations. We won a bunch of nominations, or we're honored with a bunch of nominations last year for Cinderella at a couple of different other awards programs. So it's really exciting to bring that back and be able to, um, I guess, nominate new people. So there's a couple of current seniors who were nominated, Julia Kama, Charlotte Kama, and Sam Leroy. So I'm very, very proud of them, and I'm super excited to see what happens. We also have a couple of our alumni who were also nominated, so fingers crossed. Break a leg, everybody. I'm really excited. This is the most nominations we've ever received from the Foxies. 15 nominations. Uh, so many of our talented crew and cast have received recognition, and it's being recognized as one of the most innovative plays of the season, as well as an elevated language play. So classical plays like Shakespeare. I have very high hopes for the, uh, the results of Bergen Pack Awards and Paper Mill Playhouse Rising Star Awards for Mary Poppins. Ms. Rubin put together an amazing show and all our incredible cast and crew have done such a great job. The buzz is really, really great. We sold out every single show. Um, I'm really proud of what we did. Everybody did such an amazing job, so I'm really, really hoping for the best there, but I don't want to jinx anything. Good luck to all of our nominees. There are two more spring music concerts scheduled for April. On April 16th, the MHS Orchestra will perform in the auditorium at 7 p.m. And on April 26th, you can catch the MHS Choir Spring Concert. Congratulations to the following violinists from the MHS Orchestra. Johan Likona, Allison Herrera, Gabby Araya, Anna Islieb, Melanie Funk, Kayla Palaguachi, Brianna Santos Borjas, Christian Santos Borjas, and Olivia Drivas. They have been chosen to perform with the Piano Guys, a mixed media performance group who are known for their YouTube videos of performances around the world. They have had over 2 billion views of their music, videos, and performances. Our students can be seen with the Piano Guys at Impact on April 20th. If you would like to see the show, you can get tickets from the Impact website. To celebrate our MHS seniors, the Morris Educational Foundation is proud to continue the tradition of senior signs for graduating seniors and will gift all graduates with a sign at no cost to families. Thanks to the generosity of our donor support. You can honor your graduate with a lawn sign that celebrates this hard-earned and important milestone. Participating families must register to receive a sign. Register now through Friday, May 10th for your graduate's senior sign at the link below. 
The signs will be available for pickup at Morristown High School back circle for drive through distribution from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, May 18th and Sunday, May 19th. Hi, Marstown. I'm Tommy Zaklikevich with Colonial Corner Sports. The spring sports season started for our teams over spring break. So far, the baseball team is 0-5 to start the season with sophomore Christian Smith having six hits so far and leading the team. Sophomore pitcher Patrick Ruiz has 12 strikeouts so far this season. The softball team has had a promising start to the season with their record at 2-2, coming off wins against Chatham and Mendham. Junior Jenna Manahan leads the team in hits, runs, and RBIs. The girls lacrosse team has started 4-0, beating number six Haddonfield by a score of 12-9. Kathleen Moran leads the team in goals with nine, while senior Megan O'Brien and sophomore Carolyn Condon are tied for assists with five. The boys lacrosse team is 0-4 to start the season, with one bright spot being Jack Byrne, who has seven goals, while junior Alex Davis has 10 assists and 16 points. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more sports updates. That's, That's the, the news. news. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.